School is never as cool as it's portrayed in the movies. Unfortunately, there are no real-life schools for superhumans or magically inclined. Classmates don't just randomly break out into song and dance, teachers rarely ever enter their students into a secret battle of the bands, but because these fictional schools are unrealistic doesn't mean audiences love them any less. After all, who wants to watch a movie where students actually sit and learn? Welcome to Killer Queen TV, my name is Killer Queen Katie and today's video is the top 10 most famous schools in movies. East High is the school featured in the Disney Channel original movie High School Musical. It is home to the Wildcats, who are obsessed with three things, basketball, having incredible hairstyles, and of course, breaking out into song and dance to express their feelings. High School Musical quickly became a phenomenon that spawned two successful sequels and launched the careers of its main cast. Whether or not any actual learning takes place at East High is up for debate, but what isn't is the fact that their drama department is absolutely stacked. Practically every student can carry a note while simultaneously performing a choreographed dance number. What luck! Monsters University is the prequel to Monsters Incorporated and tells the story of how James P. Sullivan and Mike Wazowski went from bitter rivals to the best friends during their time at college. And while it may not be as good as its predecessor, Monsters University is still a fun Pixar movie that offers plenty of monster-themed puns and jokes about the college experience. It's basically Animal House for kids. It has the same tropes and follows a similar story structure, but unlike Animal House, Monsters University, in typical Pixar fashion, has a meaningful message at its core. The movie teaches kids that it's okay to be who you are, which is a great message, no matter what age. High school movies have become their own genre, and like any genre, there are certain cliches and character archetypes associated with it. Most of which originated in the 80s cult classic Fast Times at Ridgemont High. There's the stone surfer, the football star, the no-nonsense teacher, and of course, all the teens who can't stop thinking about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Fast Times at Ridgemont High is one of the greatest teen comedies ever. The movie is perhaps best remembered for launching the careers of many stars, including Sean Penn, Forrest Whitaker, Nick Cage, and Jennifer Jason Leigh. It doesn't hurt that the film is also incredibly hilarious and authentic. If only real-life high school could have had such colorful characters like Jeff Spicoli, Wilton Academy in itself isn't anything special, besides being a historic all-boys prep school. But what makes this fictional school so iconic is its English teacher, John Keating, played by Robin Williams. He received an Academy Award nomination for his performance, and many consider the role one of his best. Keating is the teacher that everyone wished they had in school. He's charming, funny, smart, respectful, and genuinely cares about what he's teaching. He might have been forced to leave, but his teachings live on. All together now, oh captain. My captain. The Breakfast Club is one of the quintessential movies from the 80s. If that one random Saturday detention proved anything, Shermer High School has one incredibly interesting student body. Throughout the film, the five students labeled as a brain, a jock, a recluse, a princess, and a criminal open up to one another and reveal they're not so different. Director John Hughes opted for the single location shoot to keep the budget low, and it turned out to be one of the film's best parts. That library is simply iconic. Hughes also used the same school for interior shots in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Like Dead Poets Society, what makes the school in School of Rock so iconic isn't the building itself, but rather the faculty. And in the case of Horace Green Prep School, there is no better teacher than Jack Black's Dewey Finn. Also, like Dead Poet Society, Dewey teaches the kids to think outside the box and rebel against the man, but uses classic rock and roll instead of poetry. School of Rock proved so popular that it was adapted into a Broadway stage play and a Nickelodeon TV series. Funny enough, a School of Rock music program does exist in real life, though neither was influenced by the other. 
Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters, also known as the X Mansion, is both an operational compound and a school for mutants to learn how to control their powers. The mansion is featured prominently throughout the entire X-Men series, with many key scenes taking place there. The only downside to Xavier's school for gifted youngsters is that it always seems to be under attack by some villain. Other than that, it's one of the best schools there is. Where else are there going to be teachers like Storm and Wolverine? Rydell High School is the main setting in Greece, the original teen musical where students randomly break out into song and dance. Sure, Greece depicts the 50s with rose-tinted glasses, but the movie is so much fun, and the styles are so iconic, it makes everybody wish they were a part of the T-Birds or Pink Ladies. The students of Rydell High may not be the best when it comes to academics, but they sure know how to choreograph a dance number and throw an end-of-the-year carnival. Not to mention all the fun school activities like pep rallies, school dances, and, of course, street racing against someone from the rival school. Just like Grease is the blueprint for high school movies, Animal House is the blueprint for college movies. Faber College is like any other college, there's the crotchety dean, the uppity fraternities everyone hates, and the slacker fraternities, like the Deltas, that everyone secretly wishes they were a part of. After all, who doesn't want to go to a wild toga party with someone like Bluto? It is worth noting that not every joke in Animal House has aged well, but the movie is generally considered one of the greatest comedies ever made. It quickly became the idealized version of the wild college experience and has influenced countless students into being wild party animals, just like the Deltas. Apart from being the most famous movie school, Hogwarts is also undoubtedly the fictional school that most audiences wished was real. Every fan of the Harry Potter series wanted an acceptance letter to Hogwarts, and who can blame them? The entire school is one big, incredible, magical castle. Hogwarts is home to all kinds of incredible magical things, from paintings that can talk and fantastical beasts to hidden rooms and countless friendly ghosts like Moaning Myrtle. Not to mention all the incredible-looking feasts and school activities like the Yule Ball and, of course, all the Quidditch matches. Unfortunately, Hogwarts might not be real, but at least Harry Potter World at Universal Studios is, and that will have to do.